Hello everybody and welcome back in the channel. In today's video I'm going to explain how to use heavy telephoto lenses with a tripod. For this purpose I'm going to use two different tripods with two different heads. So let's go! Using a tripod may be trivial, but not always, mostly with long and heavy telephoto lenses. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to use normal lenses as well. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about tripods and pads. Here I got two tripods. The first one is my wildlife tripod. In this video you can see my short review of this small tripod. This tripod has a gimbal head. this one but it's really different from a normal ball head like this one the most impo important feature of a gimbal is that you can use your camera without worrying to open uh, and close continuously the head knob indeed once uh, once you have balanced uh, the lens in the gimbal it's easy to use it like that As you can see, the two main knobs, this one and this one, are open and I can move around the camera without only uh, one hand. Staying always safe uh, uh, that the camera will not fall down instead of using a ball head is a little different. First of all, you need to use both hands, uh, one for taking the camera and the lens, and the other hand and the other head for opening and closing the knob head. So every time you need to follow a subject, change composition or whatever you want, you need to open the knob, move or change position of the lens and finally shoot. And a really really important thing to remember is close well the knob uh, of, the, uh, of the arc plate just to avoid uh, slipping issues. Okay, as you can see, I haven't used the quick release arca plate, but in this, in this camera is this one. Okay, to connect the camera to the tripod. But I've used um, the foot lens, this one, the white part of the, of the lens, uh, where I put a, lo um, a long quick release arca plate, this one. Then I put the, uh, the foot of the lens on the, on the tripod. So it's the lens connected to the tripod, not the camera. The concept is, is the same in both tripods, with the gimbal head and with the ball head. So why uh, you have to use the foot lens instead of the camera itself? The answer is simple. The camera aperture can't support the lens load. Connecting the camera uh, with a big lens uh, attached directly to the tripod, uh, like this, uh, it's really dangerous for the camera. The aperture might tear down and go by your lens. For sure, you would send everything to the assistant for fixing the damage. Also, with professional cameras, they, usu they usually are more sturdy than normal cameras. It's better to use uh, long telephoto lenses uh, uh, like that. And I don't recommend to grab your camera uh, from the body, but always from the foot lens or the lens itself, but never the camera. Another thing to consider is uh, the maximum payload of your ball head, because the payload must support at least the weight of uh, your camera plus the, the lens. Okay, of course using normal lenses the situation changes. Now you can use uh, the quick release plate of the camera in your tripod. The lens weight now is not a problem and you can use it without any worries. As always, 
using uh, using a ball head you have to open and close always the main knob but this is how works uh, um, a ball head speaking about a quick release uh, uh, plates in the market there are a lot of dif uh, different models short long super long l plate like mine that are really useful um, to change easily from landscape to portrait orientation without moving the ball head there are also cages where adding uh, other gears like uh, microphones, uh, lights, uh, phone holder and stuff like that very well, I think it's all to for today let me know what you think or if you have a question in case write, uh, write them in the comment section below I'll answer really soon thanks for watching uh, I hope being useful in some way if you like this video uh, please give me a like and consider to subscribe uh, my channel thanks again and see you next time bye bye